Garage Band from Max, Master Reverb and Echo Effects may seem a little bit too basic for frequent use, but did you know you can actually change the parameters and even the entire character of these effects? Here's how it works. To get to GarageBand's reverb and echo sliders, select a track and then open its smart controls window. You'll find the reverb and echo sliders here, beneath the plugin section. So if I set this track off and add some reverb to it by moving the slider, you can hear the default reverb effect being added to it. It's a pretty basic sounding reverb, right? Well, I can actually change the sound of this reverb effect by hitting the edit button beneath the sliders. This window allows me to adjust settings for both the master reverb and master echo effects that are controlled by the reverb and echo sliders in a track's smart controls window. I can select from 10 different reverb presets here, from subtler effects like ambience, wooden verb to more pronounced and in your face reverb sounds like reflective room church. The method is exactly the same for the echo master effect, though you have many more presets to choose from here. From half note flutters, To my favourite, Ultra Dub. Keep in mind that these master effects are global across all of your tracks, so adjusting the reverb effect on one track will change it on all of your tracks. Not only are these reverb and echo master effects actually quite powerful, they're probably not the only garage band feature you're not aware of. In this video, I share more crazy useful garage band tools that you need to know about.